Hello everyone, this is Little Hoot Plans back with another video doing something different yet again. Um, I'm going to be doing like a talk through Q&A while laying down the base stickers. Um, thought this might be a bit of, uh, maybe a bit easier to edit and take it up quicker for you guys. So using this, pretty sure it's called Llama Love Kit from Jump To It Designs. And I've talked about, well, I'm not sure if you'd seen that video yet, um, my August monthly. But I talked about how much I love their shop. They were the first, pretty sure one of the first shops that I ever bought from. And this kit just screamed summer to me. Oh, realize, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I wrote summer on this page because I wanted to make sure that I got in a few more summer kits. Pretty sure... Yeah, next week has something on there written in pencil, but I had to change it because my son's first day of school got changed. Uh, the lovely things that we're going through right now, trying to figure out school and whatnot. So, uh, if you'd like to watch me play out this week, stick around. All right, here we go. Um, with this being a Jump To It Designs kit, um, they usually come with glitter headers and what they call their little uh, character um, popcorn. And I don't think I got it with this kit, but that's fine. I got um, a bunch of extras, so I'm just going to look through and see if I can find one that kind of matches these colors. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? Ooh, that looks pretty good. These, these two, these two colors look good. I might do those. Um, today is, uh, what is today? Wednesday, August 5th. Mm, not that one. And trying to get a little bit ahead of the uh, schedule with filming and whatnot. I like that pink. I'll probably use that pink. So I guess, well, that should be good. Um, no, it's too, too dark. Nope. This one, no. I like this color, this color, and this color. So I'm going to do that. And then looking for popcorn, popcorn the unicorn. That's what they call their little character. So cute. Um, just look through here to find one that kind of matches. Doesn't have to be perfect. Fine if it's not. Just um, wanted to kind of match. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So, let's get started. I have this little Q&A thing that I saw. I have my little notes here because I'm horrible at talking without notes. Um, so, I always have to have something written down just so I can glance at it and make sure I'm not just like rambling. Also, sorry if you can hear noise in the background. I'm right next to... Um, our upstairs bathroom and my son is in there taking a bath. Um, don't worry, he's like old enough to bathe on his own without drowning or whatnot. I don't know. Somebody might think that, but if you weren't then I'd probably just, you know, put that into your mind. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, bottom washi and then date covers and answer some questions. So the first question is, tell us about yourself as much or as little as you would like. Ooh, okay. Well, my name is Kisa. Mm, yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, my name is Kisa. It's spelled K-E-S-I-A. A lot of people like to throw an H in there for some odd reason. I know there's a lot of names out there that get mispronounced a lot. Um, and mine is one of them. So it's Kisa, 
I like to, whenever I have it written down and I'm letting people know how to pronounce it, I like to say it's pronounced like Lisa, but with a K. So, if you are curious, that's my name. Um, I'm 27 years old. I live in Indiana. Lived here my entire life. Um, I live with my son, as I said, and then my fiance and my dad. We live in this nice little house. I've lived here my entire life, literally, in the same house my entire life. It's just how it's gone. Um, since I was three months old, this is just where I've been and I love it. Um, I'm not a big fan of change, so I almost always say I never wanna move, but I've been rethinking that here over the last few, um, maybe eight months or so of getting married. Oh, sorry if you could, that comes into frame. I'm charging my phone. I'm using my phone to um, record this video and I'm charging it at the same time. So the cord is kind of, it's like right there. So sorry if that wiggled the camera. Anyway, been thinking about moving the last few months. Um, so it's getting married. That's crooked. We're going to go with it and started wanting to start you know a new chapter of my life with my fiance um oops sorry there's my shirt I'm wearing a yellow shirt it's hot in here so I was just <laughs> um trying to cool off a little bit um wanting to move to somewhere I'm not sure where he my fiance is a mechanic so he works a lot outside and he doesn't like when it gets cold because it gets cold here in Indiana I mean we have very cold winters and we can get hot summers we're in August right now it's been scary cold I will say that I think this last week it's been um, in the 70s, high 70s, low 80s, and that's just weird, you know? It's, for Indiana, that's just not common in August, but we're rolling with the punches. My plants are kinda, I don't know, they're just wondering what the heck is going on, but we'll see. I don't know yet if we're gonna move only time will tell. I'll just say that. So, um, what else about me? I have a brother, an older brother. We are 10 years apart. Um, both of my brother and I are adopted. And funny thing is, my parents said when they adopted my brother, after that, it took them 10 years to, <laughs> I don't know, like to have the patience or something to get another child so I just find I find that so funny so yes my brother and I are 10 years apart I'm um, trying to figure out this pattern here I guess blue here and I like having an older much older brother I think um, when we were younger it was like having another parent instead of a sibling but now that we are older he's like one of my best friends so I look up to him in every way possible and he's just the best so funny thing is when we were younger when we were though out and about I was um, going with him to tour college and he he and I are about the same height we've always been about the same height since I was so, would that be right? He, he would be, yeah, he would be 18 going into college. So yeah, I was eight and I was the same height as my 18 year old brother. So goes to show you like how, I, I guess it doesn't really give you an idea, but I'm very tall. 
at um, 27, I am, I guess, I think the last time I got my height measured 5'11", so pretty darn tall. Um, anyway, I was going with that story when um, we were touring his colleges, one of his, um, what am I doing? I need this color. Um, one of his teachers asked if we were twins because kind of looked alike, not really, but you know, I guess to them we looked alike and then we were the same height. I looked older than I was just being so tall and I guess mature to a compliment, I guess. So all fine and dandy for me. Am I going to have enough glitter headers? <sighs> we'll see. I've done this whole scattering of the glitter headers diagonally before, and I'm just not sure how many I used, so we'll see. I've been sanding. I'm going to sit up, or sit down, so yeah. <laughs> oh. So that's a little bit about me. Um, that's probably about, I guess all I'll, I'll say right now. If you have questions about me, you can definitely ask. I'm more than happy to answer just about anything. Um, probably with this video, you'll learn a little bit more about me and maybe your question will get answered. So, question number two. How did you come across the online planner community? Well, um, it's hard to plan and talk at the same time, my goodness. <laughs> uh, a few years ago I had an internship and it was a very boring internship. Well, okay, sorry, it wasn't an internship. It was at the same place that I had my internship, but this was an actual job. I was the receptionist there, which was very boring. You know, I didn't have much to do. I came on to do a certain project and once that project was done I had nothing to do so while I was doing this um, job I didn't have much to do other than answer the three phone calls that I had during the day uh, I was able to watch YouTube nobody really um, cared you know I didn't watch anything bad but that's pretty much all I did throughout the day and so I was looking around YouTube and came across um, a planner YouTube channel honestly I cannot remember who it was um, but I started watching that channel and I went home after a day of watching it and I decided to start a, a bullet journal I did start off doing bullet journaling um, I liked the being able to be creative and um, create everything like pretty much every spread from scratch so it was very time-consuming I only did it for maybe six months and then I found um, the happy planner and I'm so so thankful that I did it because this saved me so much time so and yes I did have enough glitter headers very happy about that I'll put these back. This is one of my um, photo albums that I got just from, uh, I'm pretty sure I got it from Walmart. And then this is a little postcard from Sweet Ava's paper that I put in the front just to make it a little cuter. Um, and then this is one that I just have some just fun stickers in. Uh, I don't categorize anything. I put them in based on when I get them. So these are Jump To It designs. I have Jump To It designs in some of my other ones. It's just based on, I got these one month and then I got the other ones another time. So whenever I get a new uh, set of stickers, then I'll just put it in like the last slot. So no real organization. I do, funny thing enough, um, I do remember where everything is. So I'll, I always know that my jump to designs, big happy planner, glitter headers and popcorn, um, character stickers are in this uh, album so I don't know how I remember it that's one of the few things that I actually do remember in life so 
but it works for me. So I'm going to take a drink here. Um, yeah, so that was a few years ago. Then I got a big happy planner. Um, because the one, the bullet journal that I had was this size, like an eight and a half by 11 size. So I just wanted to stick with the same size. So I did do a big and have been going ever since. I've never been an Aaron Condren person. I will never be an Aaron Condren person, you know, based on the stuff that's been happening with her. Um, that's one of the reasons why I won't do it now. Before, it was just never really my thing. I never really saw why this is just for me I didn't want to spend so much money on a planner um, and then all the stickers that I'm putting into it was just a lot of money for me you know I always buy my big happy planners when they go on sale and I have a coupon um, I buy most of my stickers on sale now that I have a Cricut I've been printing and cutting mostly all of my stickers um, so it's I like to budget, um, but Erin Condren was just never my thing. So, always been in love with the Big Happy Planner. And it's been three years, I guess, now, and I'm never gonna look back. I love it so much. I don't think I could ever be without planning sometimes. Um, I think that planning is the one thing that has keep, kept me going, you know, especially through 2020. With it being such a crazy year, planning and doing stickers, creating stickers, putting stickers down in my planner has just kept me going. I love it so much. It's such a relaxing thing for me and I can just zone, like tune everything out and just focus on this. So without the planner community, I don't think I'd be as happy as I am right now. So thank you to whoever it was who this video I watched so many years ago and oh, it's just it's just been amazing oh anyway I don't want to get emotional here um next question what is your current everyday carry well I don't go anywhere so I don't carry anything with me to say that um what is your favorite type of pen I have a couple here my one, first one is the Sharpie pen. I like just the, the feel of the pen in my hand and how dark the ink is. And then my all-time favorite is the Papermate Ink Joy, Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0.7. Uh, I was using doing a flare pen. I think I got that from um, Cardboard Couture. She always uses a flare pen and I, I um, found those but then I like the gel I like gel pens so and I like the you know being able to click the top just a, a random thing that I like um, so I've been using these I have them in probably every single color that they come in and it's just the best pen in my opinion mm, kind of stopped doing stickers here but we'll get back to that what is your favorite planner accessory mmm well, I would have to say stickers. I mean, I love using all these types of different types of stickers, honestly. Um, I have a ton of washi, like more washi than I could even count. But I haven't used washi in months. Um, that's one of the first few things that I like stocked up on and now I don't use it at all. I feel kind of bad that I don't use it, but it's just not part of my uh, everyday um, thing that I want to use, I guess. Um, I'm going to put this this week sticker down for this sidebar to mark. Um, what am I marking? My top moments that happened this week. I like to, I don't really use my, use my sidebar functionally. I mostly just use it for 
writing down um, my top moment of the day. Sometimes if I have it and I don't have anything else, I'll mark or I'll use a habit tracker. I'm not just, I'm just not big on using habit trackers. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. So put that down to mark when this week comes up. Oh, I didn't put the dates down. I'll do that in a little bit. Um, when we get to this week, I'll put down my happy moment for each day there. And then I'll get the other uh, tracker here to mark down. Um, I don't know what I'll mark down. I'll figure it out though. I'll mark down something. So let's go on to the next question. Did I finish answering that one? Uh, yeah. Um, what has been your biggest challenge when it comes to planning? Ooh. Mm, I have to think about that one for a second. Um, I know I wrote <laughs> some notes down, but I didn't write notes down for that one, funny enough. Um, let me look and see what other headers. Clean meal spending. I'll do work for this one, even though, you know, I have a pre-plan. I will do a pre-plan video for this week and write down what I need to do for work. Um, I do have a work planner, but I don't really use it. But I like to, I will just use that um, for work anyway. Um, okay, what was the question again? Sorry. Biggest challenges. Maybe being original. Maybe that's it. Um, yeah, that's probably what I would say. I know you can do whatever and it's fun to get inspiration from other people. Um, I am gonna put a hat of a tracker down here just because I have it and I don't really have much else to, to do. And then I'm gonna put a gold header and these kits come with these um, small three heart checklists. Okay, sorry if the um, setup is a little different. I thought my phone died and I looked up. It was still recording, but I just had to um, plug it back in and make sure it was recording. So, okay, back to regular shenanigans. Okay, going to use um, one of these, I guess. I have a lot of yellow going on over here. And I have this pattern. Um, I'll do pink. Pink isn't one of my favorite colors, but if a kid has it, I'll use it. It's fine. So, I'm um, pretty sure the question I was saying, like, being original and, you know, I like to do, take inspiration from other people. I don't want to copy somebody exactly, but um, it's kind of hard to do something original. I think a lot of things have been done. I'm definitely one of those planners that plans um, in the box. Uh, I used to have a checklist for every day. I don't do that anymore, um, but I like to keep it in the box and whatnot. So, but you know, um, I'll mention some other shops here in a minute, but a lot of other people do um, such beautiful spreads with uh, a box in the middle of two and um, a half box on top of a full box to give it some something else like visually appealing um a layout but you know I'm, I'm kind of i i don't know i wouldn't say i'm boring but it's just it's been done a lot and i'm not a white space space planner i like to have every single inch of the paper filled with a sticker I love all the bright colors that kits come with, like this one. This is just a, like so beautiful with all of the beautiful colors that it comes with. So definitely my type of kit. 
but um, yeah, just being original. I don't have, honestly, I don't have much else to do except put the boxes down, so I might do like a rapid fire trying to figure out, or trying to get through the these um, questions. Some of them I'm going to skip, but I will definitely leave the full list of questions down below if you wanted to um, answer these or just know which uh, what the questions were. So the next question, what do your loved ones think of your planner hobby? Um, well, I think they're mostly happy that I'm doing something that I love. I think that's the main thing. You know, they're happy that I'm happy. Um, I'm just gonna put this adorable weekend banner down. Hold on, let me see if you can see. Things got changed around and these pages are humongous, so I wanna make sure everything's in frame. So, great. Um, I have been known to be, ooh, that's kinda of crooked, but it's down. I've known to be kinda of depressed and like a lot, and this is something that keeps me happy all day. You know, if I'm doing something like this all day, I'll be happy all day. But, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get sad. I don't wanna get sad. So they're very happy that I'm happy and I think my fiance and my dad both are glad that I found, uh, or I got a table for our room because I was using our dining room table uh, to begin with and I just had some boxes laying around and it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. So I went to Ikea, got myself a humongous table for my room. This isn't the table that I, I do my planning on usually. Actually in my son's room, he has a table that he's that I just bought him for online learning. Um, his table is actually clean. So, <laughs> and it's in front of a window that has good lighting. So I thought, I would do my filming here. Um, he's not using it yet. Like I said, his school hasn't started. It won't start until um, the 17th. So um, in the meantime, I'm using it. So I'm gonna put these full boxes down. Not sure where I'm going to put them. Hmm. I might put them down like where the teal color is. Maybe, we'll see. So on to the next one. If you have taken any personality tests, what are your results? That could be Hogwarts, Myers-Briggs, um, something like that. Or if not, how would you describe yourself? Um, out of those, I have taken the Hogwarts house um, quiz and I am a proud Hufflepuff yes Hufflepuff pride um, if you don't know I wrote down a couple of things about Hufflepuffs <laughs> um, Hufflepuffs are associated with trust trustworthiness loyalty and a strong work ethic Hufflepuff has produced the fewest dark witches and wizards of any house Many people view Hufflepuff as the least clever house. And according to the welcome letter, this is not necessarily true. Um, I have heard from other people that, you know, they don't really think about the Hufflepuff house as an important house. Um, obviously, I have to disagree because I am one, but whatever. <laughs> Um, if you didn't know, Newt's commander was a Hufflepuff, and some of my very good friends are Hufflepuffs, and, ooh, I'm sorry, my son is being so loud, but I love that he is having fun in the bathtub, that's all I can say. Um, I just realized that this one is going to be in a way, hmm. Can I lift this up? Probably not. 
two. Let's cross our fingers and say a prayer, hold our breaths. Let's see. If not, it's fine. I'll just figure something else out. Ooh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's a little sticky on the bottom washi, but that's okay. I am going to put this back down in the exact same spot. Um, I just want to put the full box down first. Ooh, there we go. A little crinkled. That's okay. I'll just put this right here while I finish. Um, what were we talking about? Hufflepuff. See, forgotten. We are forgotten. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, I love being a Hufflepuff. My dad's a Hufflepuff too. And it's probably why we have such a good relationship. Um, he's one of my best friends. And I wouldn't trade to be in another house, um, even if that were an option. I just, I would not. I love being a Hufflepuff. I'm, I will say like, I'm very quiet um, in my job. I'm very behind the scenes. Uh, I don't do much out in the open. Terr it terrifies me to no end to speak in front of people, to like give a presentation and whatnot. I'm just, oh, I'm not that person. Just thinking about it makes my heart rate <laughs> go up, so. Um, I don't know if that's, if you're a Hufflepuff if you, or if you know a Hufflepuff, if they're kind of like that. Ooh, that's a little crooked. Maybe it's the glitter header that's crooked. Yeah. But that's how I am. Okay. Uh, on to the last, is this the last question? Uh, yeah, it is. Perfect. Because I'm almost done putting these stickers down. And the last question is, at the time that these questions were written, um, I think this was a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure when exactly this, these questions were, uh, like became public. I will put the video that I found them from down below off the top of my head. I can't remember who it was from, but I'll definitely link it all down below. But anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. At the time that these questions were written, many of us are practicing social distancing. In light of that, what shows or movies would you recommend? Okay. 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 I don't. I don't ever say that. What? Where did that come from, Kisa? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> That's, I'm gonna say it on purpose now. Um. I wrote down a few. I'm not a big TV watcher. I will say I watch a lot of YouTube. I'm a big true crime person. I will talk about some of the true crime channels on YouTube that I watch. Um. But on Netflix, I watch Black Mirror. Um, I guess I won't. I won't say Netflix because some of these are on Netflix. Some of these are on other other uh, streaming channels. So not just on Netflix, but these are the, some of the shows that I've watched: Black Mirror, Game of Thrones, True Blood. Um, my son has been watching a series of unfortunate events on Netflix. I grew up with the Jim Carrey version, the movie. I tried to watch the one on Netflix. I thought it was trash. I only watched like the first couple of episodes when it first came out, but he has watched this series probably four times. I know that sounds like a lot, but I am a working mother with an eight-year-old who likes to nag. So I give him screen time. You know, some parents don't. That's on you. I will give him screen time when he's being good. So that's just what we do. Um, some movies, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, um, there's a lot of other movies. Oh, Cloud Atlas is one, I think that's on Netflix right now. That is such a beautiful movie. It's one of those movies that you really have to pay attention and think and like I've watched it multiple times and I find things that I haven't, that I didn't um, catch the first time. So I love that movie. Um, hmm, what else? Oh, the Kill Bill movies, great, love those. Uh, and then a few channels on YouTube. I wrote down Cowboy Kent. I've talked about him maybe in one or two videos that I've talked, uh, that I've um, done. He is a 
Oklahoma cook. He doesn't call himself a chef. He's not a chef. He's a cook. Um, and he, you know, works on a ranch and feeds all the cowboys. And so he's Cowboy Kent. And he does, um, what are those skillets called? Cast iron skillet cooking. And I found him when I was trying to find a, a recipe for frying your own potato chips in quarantine. And I've just fallen in love with him. So he has like 10 years worth of videos. Um, I will say probably the last three years are some of his best, you know, technology and whatnot has been, um, has changed throughout the years. So definitely that. Um, honestly, er, I haven't been really doing anything, but I'm going to put some of the deco that I have in this kit down here on the bottom just to jazz it up a little bit. Um, some other YouTubers, mostly cooking, Barry Lewis. I think he was like the naked something chef. I don't know. Uh, but he's just, it's just Barry Lewis now. He does some fun videos. Emmy Made in Japan. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure if it's just Emmy Made or Emmy Made in Japan. But she does some really great ones that I love. She does a lot of weird ones too. Um, she eats bugs. That's what I'll say about her. She likes to eat bugs. And then some of my favorite true crime channels. Um, Jim likes to swim. He used to have a bunch of channels. I think he took them all down. Um, uh, I can't remember why exactly. Um, but he had to take them all down and they're mostly on Patreon, but he has a few on YouTube still that are amazing. He goes in, well, I guess it, I shouldn't say he, it's two people. Um, they go into such great detail with all the uh, crimes that they um, cover. And it's not just, oh, this person did this and um, this is their backstory, that they go into the why somebody like this would do whatever they did. And I love that. It's just so thorough and you get like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a part of the investigation somewhat, but you know, all this has already happened, but it's just so in depth and I really enjoy it. Another one is Last Chapter. He's great, he's so funny. He's um, fun like Jim Can't Swim and he goes into the backstory and the why, but it's just like a different take. I will say both Jim Can't Swim, or. Did I say Jim likes to swim before? I don't know, I wrote down on my notes it says Jim likes to swim. It's Jim can't swim. I'll link it down below. I'm so sorry. But Jim can't swim and last chapter, they've both done the same crime, but it's so different. I will watch each one and learn something new from the one or the other, just based on like what they've researched and what they talk about, so really love them. And then Georgia Marie, she's great. She's a new one that I just found. Um, she does more than just true crime, and I really appreciate that, um, some of the other things that she's um, she's looked at. And then planner video, or planner channels, of course. Some of my favorites are Run With Crafts. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Leslie, I didn't, I, uh, sometimes say words and I can't get them out it's I have to say it slowly run with craft scissors there we go run with craft scissors um, planning with bumble Ilza planned it and uh, planning peep those are the four top ones that I really enjoy I'm sure some of you um, know who they are and watch them as well at least I hope you do because all of them are they're all very different you know I like them for different reasons um so i would i would suggest if you need some new planner people to watch and if you haven't checked them out i definitely would um that's all the questions Ooh. and i'm just gonna put down a couple more llamas maybe up here by where the august is uh oh pen fell and then We'll be done.
you guys this is a lot of talking <laughs> Ugh, that's a big fella because mm, that's right there I don't want to do that how about this one yeah I like that one August and then yep yeah, there's a heart right here that there um let me do the dates real quick 9th 10th where are the dates oh see now that I'm talking so I've talked so much I feel a little bit like I need to take the afternoon and just stay quiet. <laughs> I don't talk this much, even with family. It's, I'm, I'm just a quiet person, you know? I definitely open up around people that I know and I've been around before, but I'm a quiet one. Isn't it all they say, like, it's the quiet ones you have to look out for? <laughs> That's not the case with me. I'm a pretty low-key person. I always have been, so. <sighs> okay, last date. And we're done. Oh my goodness. These colors are phenomenal. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Just a little bit so we can get a full picture. Love it. Can I get it straight? There we go. Kind of, not really, whatever. Um, okay, this is my spread for the week. I hope you enjoyed the questions. I hope you liked getting to know me a little bit more. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like it, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, I don't know, tell somebody. <laughs> Mostly tell somebody that you love them today. How about we do that? Tell somebody, you know, that you just care about them because life is short. We don't know if we'll be promised, well, we're not gonna be promised tomorrow. And we don't know if we'll be around, if our loved ones will be around. So tell someone that you love them. I love all of you and I really appreciate that you have watched and stuck around with me through this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.